Okay, Joe then, so we're waiting for Luke Wichard, my trusted electrician to arrive, and what have you set up for us? So what we've got set up here, just using my phone, uh, the camera on the phone, uh, I've got a HDMI lead plugged from my phone uh, into the big screen here, because obviously we've got um, quite a lot of students coming in, they're not all going to be able to cluster around and look at what uh, Luke's doing. So over here, Luke's going to be uh, connecting up this consumer unit for us. So we've got the phone hooked up, uh, videoing what he's going to be doing and we're just basically projecting what's on the phone screen there onto the big screen here so that all the learners can watch it. So uh, hopefully it'll be a good experience for all concerned. And we're all completely looking forward to it, aren't we, Oh yeah, 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 really looking forward to meeting Nick. It's gonna be a good day. Point something out quick. I've just picked this up off the floor. I was going to move my six to the end one, and whilst I was doing it, I think I mentioned this earlier on the old Wilex ones. On a Wilex um, MCB, there's a chance that you can miss the bus bar. So terminal six, terminal eight, terminal nine, and terminal ten have all missed it. I'd never have known it if I hadn't looked underneath. So you've done this up to talk set in as tight as you can possibly get it. You think you've done a good job. You've not made a proper connection. And I'll be honest, I don't think you would have ever tested. Any of your tests that you do would never identify that. You, I'll be honest, look, it's not even on the RCD. The RCD's actually gone in front of it as well. Sorry, so Luke. I'll take that bus bar out, but I'd notice. It's just something to be wary of. I mean, I've done it in the past. I've been to a few jobs where some of the bigger loads, like a shower, has actually made the whole consumer unit melt. On all the new Wilex boards, I don't think that's an issue because I'm fairly certain they've changed the way it goes in. I believe you, you terminate it through the front now. So I'll put that in again. Again, I like to use a blank module rather than the little, the little yellow sections that cover the bus bar. Oh, I've got it. Purely because you, you get the correct space in then. I think oh, this will Gary nip off. Oh, I was going to be break. Fantastic. What's that, 16? Yeah, right, so I'll stick the 16 on here. Why is that not locked in? Oh, there you go. The problem with a magnetic screwdriver as well, I find, is you put it in, you do the screw up, and as you pull the screwdriver out, you, you, you pull the bus bar up. Did you, did you see that? As you pull the screwdriver out, the bus bar comes with it. And, I mean, gravity's pulling it back down again, but if, you're, if you've got this horizontally, sometimes that stays out. Am I going the wrong way with that? Sometimes that, that stays up, and so again, you put the bus bar in and you miss it. Well, I think that's, I think that's far enough out. I'm just gonna flip this around. I don't, it's normally in the fuse ball when I'm doing this portion up. I'll tell, I'm gonna do up two of them, and I'll do the rest in the consumer unit. Right. As you can see, it's not as scary anymore. All I've got now are my line conductors. They're the ones that have been left with the labels on. I'm gonna lift them up. Put my, my gubbins back in again. Slide it under there. Slide it under there. Get in there. Hook it on that. Hook it on that. Oh, 
there's going to be a lot of things you're going to come up against and you're going to struggle to do things because you're, you're too scared to take things apart to make your life a little bit easier. I hope this video has been some help. help.